We're going to go now to Adam Duxter, who is in Jordan, Minnesota at Harvest Fest. Adam, I know you were out there. There's maybe a little rain in the forecast, but it looks like things are going to go on today. Yeah, good morning, Suze. You know, it's like we went over here and we took a step back in time. We walked right into this building and and are looking just at this old machinery. We've been geeking out all morning, and I'm glad to finally be able to share it with you and our viewers because that's what this weekend really is all about. It's about taking a step back and kind of introducing maybe the next generation to, to some of what's going on in here. With that, welcome on Dan Wyman. Dan, you're the president here of the Threshers yep. here in uh in Scott Carver. Uh, this is such a cool event. It's been going on for a long time. It kind of tell me, where are we right now and what is this all about? Yeah, so right now we're in our stationary steam building. Uh, this building is kind of more of our uh, industrial type of demonstration. A lot of these buildings were used commercially back in anywhere from the late 1800s up until maybe the 20s. Mm. And so this weekend is all about kind of introducing maybe the next generation or families to some of the stuff that, a lot of it comes right from our own backyard here in the Twin Cities. This is equipment that was used to do a lot of stuff. Uh, you were describing, what, what, what did some of this kind of go to use or to do uh, some of this equipment back in the day? Yeah, so some of these smaller engines in the background here, they'd be used for just little things like running little line shafts to run maybe like little drill presses and machine shops. Um, to blacksmith hammers, it's hard to say, and this big red one behind us here now that actually ran a sawmill. So. Wow, and, and the, we've got some that seem big, but then you look back here, I mean, there's some really big machinery back in this building. You're describing the, the one big one that came from St. Paul. What was the story with that? Yeah, so that engine was used to pump ammonia in the armor meat packing plant back in the day, and that actually was just one of many engines that they had for ammonia for the cooling system. This is so cool, Dan, and today's not just about looking at it, it's about kind of getting a sense of, of how it works. Can you describe just how some of the folks that that volunteer here, how they kind of introduce people to this machinery. Yeah, so you're more than welcome to come to any of our buildings and uh, there will be somebody there to be happy to tell you all about it, show you how it works, and show you what it did. Mm. That's stuff like that. Super cool. And Grant's going to show us some of this stuff because there really truly is just in this one building so much stuff. You were saying, Dan, this has been potentially a record-breaking weekend in terms of just the, the attendance here. What's it been like just seeing people coming through and just enjoying all this stuff? It, it's pretty rewarding, you know, for me. It's I love seeing the people come through and having a great time and uh, try to teach them maybe something if they'd like. That was you at one point, right? That was me at one point. I, I was the little kid running around, hey, look at that, that looks cool. That is super cool. And so if people are interested, how can they get out here today? What's the time and, and kind of what are some of those details? Yeah, so really if you're coming from the Twin Cities area, you just kind of find 169, head south to the town of Jordan, take a right and uh, follow the signs and get right out here. And I know as far as admission, is it kids 12 and under uh, or what's the deal with that? Yeah, so kids 12 and under are free. Um, above that, so it's just $10 and they get to see a button and you get in for the whole weekend. Super cool. And Suze, this is something today that's going to be going on. And again, it's really cool if you, if you have a kid that likes to see and learn and maybe get their hands on. This is a really cool thing to take them down to today because there really is so much to see. We're just in one building, but it takes over this entire kind of campus here uh, in terms of what they've got spread out and what they have to show. So uh, we'll be back in about a half hour, maybe showing a little bit more of uh, what there is to see here. Yeah, that harvest best. Adam, what's happening out there? Yeah, morning, Suze. You know, you know, back at like 7 a.m., I said I was really geeking out. Well, now I'm really geeking out because there is so much history on display here in Jordan for everyone to see. This is really the history, not only of some of this machinery, but really as we're learning uh, here with Dan Wyman of the Scott Carver Threshers, really, this is the history of the Twin Cities that is on display here this weekend. It really is, yeah. We are looking at some heavy machinery. This past half hour, we looked at some of those steam we were talking yep. about kind of how they would work for, for manufacturing things. What are we looking at here with this stuff? So right behind us here, this is a 1910 uh, 30 horsepower uh, traction engine built by the Minneapolis Threshing Machine Company out of Hopkins. So this was built in Hopkins? Yep. W what time period would this come from? So these were built from 19, well they built steam engines from 1887 all the way up until 1924. 
Um, and they merged in 1929 to form what is better known as the Minneapolis Moline Company. Dan, you're about as comfortable getting up on this thing as I am getting in and out of my Subaru. I, wa I want to see you hop up here because this is what we do this weekend, right, at this Harvest Festival. You're getting up here, you're talking to kids about this, and this is your bread and butter. So, so I want you to show off kind of how some of this stuff would work. Yeah. So, you know, this, this bigger black part here, that's your boiler. That's where all your steam is made, the fire is, the water is. That all gets done in here, pressurized. It'll come through the top here. There's a throttle valve, and then this is your governor, and for people that don't know what a governor is, it's like cruise control for your car. When we open the throttle up all the way, this maintains a speed of around 250 RPMs for us. Wow, and you see right there, July 30th, 1889, you said this was made in Hopkins. This is truly our history of the Twin Cities on display, and this weekend is all about kind of teaching the next generation about that. What's it been like for you just to watch kids kind of marvel at this stuff? It's always a refreshing sight. I mean, I grew up doing the same exact thing, you know, when I was this high looking, you know, way up at this, you know, it's just unfathomable, really. Wow. And so right now, uh, kids can come out here, families can come out here, kids 12 and under getting free. This is the last day of this festival. There's this, there's more, there's the steam engines, yep. there's a printing press that we took a look at in between these two hits. And so this is the last day. So kids 12 and under getting free, adults 10 bucks. You can yep. get tickets right here at the gate. Yep, right at the main gate. And it come, goes on today, Sue. So while this rain holds off, if you're looking for something to do with the kids or the family, this is really a one of a kind thing here, uh, here in Jordan. I love the history there. Thank you so much, Adam.